Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli and in this video you are going to learn how you can use Google Forms to collect responses from your leads or contacts and add those leads and contacts into MailerLite application automatically. And we are going to do this with the help of automation. So this automation that we are about to set up is designed and created to fast pace your email marketing and lead collection process. So let me show you how it is going to work. So the flow of this automation is going to look like this as in when any of your lead or contact will submit a form that you have created with the help of Google Forms application. The same person who have filled this form is going to be added as a subscriber in MailerLite application. So here this automation is going to save your time in manually collecting the data of your leads and add those leads one by one into email marketing tool. So this will surely improve your efficiency and productivity. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this whole automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account. And for this, you can check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. OK, so after setting up your uh, account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect here like this. And on this page, guys, you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button and here in this name field, you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So here I have given the name to this workflow as add leads from Google Forms in MailerLite application automatically. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay. And on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these things. So the trigger is the happening of any event. So it is saying when this happens and the action is the response to that trigger. So it is saying do this. All right. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new form submission that you have received from Google Forms. And the action is that to add the same person in MailerLite application as a subscriber. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up your trigger here and from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application, which is Google Forms in our case. OK, so select Google Forms. Then you have to select the trigger event as new response received. So it will trigger this workflow when a form is submitted and the response is added as a new row in a sheet. OK, so select this and here it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL. And with the help of this, we are going to connect our form and, and the spreadsheet connected to it. And we'll bring the data out from that form to here in Pavli Connect. And with the help of that data, that test data, actually, we are going to uh, move forward in this automation. OK, so you can follow these instructions written here to do this. Let me show you how you can do this. Actually, you have to copy this webhook URL from here first like this. And then you have to reach to your uh, form that you have created. So this is the form, a subscription form I have created for my uh, to collect the leads. OK, and you can uh, share this uh, form via emails or you can share it with your audiences. OK, and uh, here is the spreadsheet connected to it in which the responses are being collected. So this is the sheet and here uh, we are going to collect the responses from our form like this. Here we are, we are receiving the timestamp that is the time and date of the form submission, the name of the person, the email and the phone number. OK, here guys, you have to click on extensions and go to add ons, then click on get add ons. And from this page, which is uh, Google Workspace Marketplace, you have to search for an add on which is called Pavli Connect Webhooks. So search for this Pavli Connect Webhooks add-on and install this add-on here. OK, so it will only take two minutes to install this add-on. As you can see, as I have already installed it, it is showing installed here. So I do not need to install it again. But once you install it, this uh, add-on here, the next thing you have to do is to refresh your spreadsheet. So this is an important step. Please remember to refresh the spreadsheet after installing Pavli Connect Webhooks add-on. OK. So after refreshing, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pavli Connect Webhooks option readily available here. And from here, you have to open initial setup. OK, and here you will find uh, these two fields. 
the webhook URL field and the trigger column field. Okay. So here in this webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you have copied from Pabli Connect. And here in the trigger column, you have to put the last data entry column or the final data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet. So let me show you uh, in this spreadsheet, the last column that is getting filled via the form is this one, the E column. Okay. So this one is the final column that is going to be filled and as it is going to be filled, the workflow will trigger. Okay. So you have to put E in that trigger column. So I'm clicking on extensions again and from Pavli Connect Webhooks initial setup. First, let's, I'm going to paste the webhook URL that you have copied. So paste it here and in the trigger column put E as it is. Okay. And after that, uh, you can see in, uh, uh, in my workflow here, as I have copied this webhook URL from here, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to do a test submission or you have to bring out the data from your spreadsheet or your form to here in Pavli Connect. Okay. So to do that, you just have to uh, click here on this send test button. So the data of the first row that you have in your spreadsheet will be delivered to Pavli Connect as a test data. Okay. Let me show you how. So I'm clicking on send test and you can see it is showing test data sent successfully. Now let's check in our workflow if we got the data. So here we can see in your workflow in this response received section, we got the details uh, from our uh, spreadsheet here like this, the name, the last name, the email, the phone number. Okay. So this is the data uh, we have in our spreadsheet. You can see now you can click on submit here. And you can see this is the same data that we have received in the uh, in our workflow. Okay. So after setting up your webhook, go to extensions again one more time. And from this Fabric Connect webhooks option, please uh, remember to click on this send on event button. So when you click on send on event button, what will happen whenever you receive a new form response from your Google form, this sheet is going to be updated and the data will be delivered to Fabric Connect automatically. Okay. Right. Now let me uh, bring back to my workflow and here as, uh, as we have received the test response here, I want to add this person whose response we have received from, uh, from our Google form into MailerLite application as a subscriber. For that to happen, you have to connect your MailerLite application in this action step. So from this choose app field to uh, search for MailerLite. This is MailerLite guys. And from this action event, you have to uh, select this option, add or uh, add or update subscriber in the group. Okay. With custom fields or without custom fields, you can uh, select any of these options. Okay. So I'm selecting the first one or let me select the second one actually. Then click on connect and from here, select add new connection. And here it will ask for this API key to make the connection with mailer light application. So to find this API key, you need to reach the da dashboard of MailerLite account and in the profile picture from the top right corner, you have to search for integrations and from the developer menu, click on developer API to get this key. Let me show you how I can do this. So this is my MailerLite applications dashboard and from here, I'm going to click on this profile icon and from here, click on integrations. Okay. And in this integrations page, you will find this developer API key tab, click on this tab. And here's the key that we needed. So just copy this key from here. Okay. And paste the key here in this field and then click on save and you will be connected with mailer light like this. Okay. Now it is asking for the group ID for the subscribers, email, the subscribers name and all these things. So you need to map these things, this, these data, uh, these fields here to create a new subscriber in MailerLite. So first of all, you can, uh, you have to select the group ID that you have. So we are adding, uh, this person that we have received from Google forms in a particular group. So, so when you click on this group ID field, it will show you the name of the groups that you have in a MailerLite. Let me show you in MailerLite also, you can see in this group section in MailerLite, I have these groups. Pavli team payment captured and the Thinkific user. So I want to add subscriber actually in this Pavli team group. Okay. Here. So I'm selecting this Pavli team group 
and for the subscriber email I am going to map the data that we have received from uh, from Google Forms in this first step okay so to map this data you just have to click here on the subscriber email field like this and from the Google Forms uh, response option uh, map the email first okay for the name use the same process and find the name okay so like okay so you can map the full name here or you can map the name here as well so it is showing uh, these fields again so in detail you can enter the fields uh, enter the name here first name is this and for the last name this is the last name okay and if you have the company details you can map the country name if you have the country city phone number I actually we do have a phone number so let me map the phone number here this is the phone number okay or, the, or if you have all these details you can map all these details but right now I have only these things and we have mapped the compulsory things now we can create a subscriber in MailerLite in a group so you can check your connection with MailerLite by clicking on save and send uh, you can see we have the save and send test request button by clicking on it you can check the connection and I, as I am going to click here a new subscriber is going to be added here in this uh, subscribers list okay so here I have this uh, these groups let me open one group this one and this is the group and here are the list of subscribers you can see so we have only one subscriber here let me check our connection I'm clicking on save and send test request and you can see this is the response we have received okay now let me show you the list I have I'm refreshing this page here okay and here you can see a new subscriber get added like this okay so you can find the details of this subscriber by clicking on it and here you will find the uh, the name okay and all the details you can see here okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation and guys uh, you have to set up this automation and map the data only once and you when you map the data like this what will happen when in real time you are you will get a response from Google form this data is going to change accordingly let me show you a real-time example as well so I'm opening my form again so this is my form okay and let me fill this form again with the name as let's say Zakir Khan okay and the email of this person and the phone number okay and I'm submitting this form here okay so you can see this form response has been recorded now I'll show you directly in MailerLite application if this person got added or not okay so this is my MailerLite application and I'm refreshing the page again and now let me show you okay So here you can see we got the third subscriber as well with the same details that I have filled in the form. So this is how it is going to work in real time. Okay. And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account or your free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.